given the situation in the regional developments, we are all seeing major developments are happening in the region. And uh, almost all the countries are striving, uh, be it individual capacity or be it in uh, block politics or block acquaintances. How do you see Pakistan, uh, Pakistan's role in uh, getting its space in the developments or in the context of historical relationship of Pakistan and Russia? How do you see Pakistan's role in defining the major global developments? Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, stress that Russia and Pakistan have a very close or even similar position on the most range of uh, regional and international issues, uh, specifically related uh, to stability and security oh. situation. Uh, we've uh, launched and uh, developing uh, different uh, channels through different working groups uh, established at the level of, of our uh, deputy foreign ministers. For example, joint working group on combating international terrorism mm -hmm. and other challenges to security, the uh, consultative group on uh, strategic stability, uh, the dialogue uh, on uh, uh, regional cooperation uh, within the framework of SCO or hmm. be it on Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, we believe uh, that uh, Pakistan is already playing a very significant role as one of the, uh, one of the uh, active members of international society and what we start recently call the glo global south uh, society of countries. And, and uh, in terms of counter-terrorism and security situation, uh, we are all seeing another uh, situation developing in the region. How do you see Russia can help Pakistan in that factor to combat these challenges? Uh, we will we are dot in mind that we will continue our cooperation with Pakistan, uh, what we have now within different UN agencies, uh, especially related to counterterrorism and uh, extremism, counter drug, uh, counter narcotics uh, activities, be it within other regional organizations like. Uh, SEO like o OIC, definitely we share the common views on, on the most of these uh, problems and challenges. And uh, people in Pakistan, they are very much uh, aware of the fact that uh, security situation is linked with a stable economic situation. And uh, recently we have seen uh, a lot of bold measures taken by the uh, Chief of Army Staff of Pakistan and the incumbent government uh, in terms of hardening the state uh, that include uh, anti-drug policy, anti-hoarding policy, anti-smuggling policy to curb the mafia that is uh, trying to inculcate uh, illegal spectrum in Pakistan. And Pakistan is looking towards its regional partners uh, with, with a keen interest. So can you highlight a few economic projects uh, that are right now in place from the Russian side that you are uh, in talks with Pakistan to strengthen, to help strengthen its economy or uh, go if, go as a, as a highlighted partner with Pakistan to, to, to overcome the challenge of economy right now. Yes, we've already mentioned with you uh, uh, steel mills. Yes. Uh, we considered the, uh, and considering this project as a symbolic mm -hmm. because it was built uh, uh, by Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a symbol of uh, Soviet, now a Russian, Pakistani mm -hmm. cooperation in industrial sphere. And that is why it is very important uh, from political point of view, and I would try my best to support uh, uh, to support this initiative and to uh, to bring this uh, idea of renovation mm. to to the logic and practical uh, end to 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 have a, a new one a, a new one factory uh, in Karachi. Uh, our 
another flagship project uh, is a so-called Pakistan uh, Pak Stream gas pipeline, yes. which uh, aims to connect uh, Karachi to Lahore. Yeah. Uh, southern and northern parts of your country. In addition to providing uh, Pakistani consumers with cheaper sources of energy, this project seeks to modernize Pakistan's existing energy infrastructure and develop its uh, gas-reliant industries. We are now discussing pipeline project in the context of joint road map on developing uh, uh, your gas distribution and gas supply system of uh, Pakistan. And Russia's expert uh, proposed I its vision, it's this draft of roadmap. It will be uh, discussed in details during the forthcoming uh, IGC, okay. Intergovernmental Commission, which is planned to be held uh, next week uh, in Moscow. We welcomed uh, the interest of Pakistan to join North-South yes. International Transport Corridor. And we welcomed uh, uh, this, that th during Mr. Averchuk's visit, Pakistan signed the agreement and uh, actually joined uh, multimodal, so-called multimodal transport corridor uh, Belarus, Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Mm. And uh, Russia is uh, uh, aimed to, to, to help Pakistan to realize its potential due to its favorable geographical location. And we are seeing momentum in that? It's going at fast pace or uh, we are still at... Uh, in uh, not so fast as we wanted to do, but uh, it's uh, slowly developing and uh, in this case it also depends on uh, uh, situation uh, inside Afghanistan yes. and it is also uh, de depending uh, on uh, Pakistani-Afghan relations. Yes. Which we would, How do you see that? Which we would like to have uh, uh, positive. Uh, we, at, at this moment, we have some concerns uh, uh, with regard to the current uh, uh, difficult, frankly speaking, difficult relations uh, between uh, both of your countries. I mean, Pakistan and Afghanistan, but... Uh, so, are there other significant and uh, big countries like you, they are, we can expect them to play some role in the, sure, diffusing sure. the situation, tense we, situation? We, 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 we are trying to, to play such a role, and, you know, uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, our special representative, uh, special presidential envoy yes. in Afghanistan, Mr. Kabulov, was visiting uh, Islamabad, and uh, soon after his visit uh, here, he uh, left for Afghanistan and he also had a range of uh, meetings with uh, high-level Afghan authorities. And uh, you also probably heard that uh, our uh, Secretary of uh, Security Council of Russian Federation, Mr. Shoigu, yes. was also visiting uh, recently Kabul. During these uh, negotiations, of course, we, we tried to, uh, to persuade uh, uh, actually both sides mm -hmm. to find some uh, solutions, to, to find some way out from the current turbulence uh, related to this uh, TTP issue.